Imagine you're a startup founder in the medical software space. So you kind of like want to start developing medical software and then you realized, oh damn, there's actually a medical device which is very regulated. So now you have to prove that your device is safe and get certification for that. So in short, a medical device usually is like software which provides a diagnosis to patients or provides some sort of treatment like shooting x-rays at patients. Um, and now you're looking for something called QMS software. and Uh, QMS software can be thought of like, okay, it's a bit like tax return software for your tax return. It helps you create the documentation you need to be compliant. And um, let's look at a few of those providers today and see how incredibly shady and really crazy this industry is. So the first one we'll be looking at is, oh wait, I should actually go away from Hacker News. Um, first one we'll be looking at is Greenlight Guru, which is an uh, interesting um, name to say the least. So uh, let's look at their website and then can we actually start using the software? No, we cannot. Like we can um, request a demo. Okay, oh man, but I have to enter all this stuff, including my phone number. Like why, why do they want to demo me a SaaS software um, via my phone? This, this, doesn't just, this really just doesn't make any sense. Also, they want to immediately subscribe me to their newsletter, which is crazy. I don't want the damn newsletter, I want the software. Um, yeah, so I don't get access to the software. But the cool thing is, they have all these weird awards I've never heard of. Um, okay, cool, but um, that kind of like settles that. Can we see the pricing? Let's go to pricing, quality, quality pricing. Um, and then, Where's, where's the, where are the numbers? No, I, I don't, don't want to talk to sales. Um, where are the numbers? All these features? No, there, there are no real numbers. There's only a dude. Like, who's this dude? Um, there, there are no numbers here. Um, oh, pricing guide. Let's, let's open this pricing guide. It's a PDF. Like, why is it a PDF? Like, okay. Um, eight pages PDF for pricing. Cool. Scroll down, all these features, more features. Yeah, no numbers. There's, there's no dollar number in here. Um, the pricing is unclear, full stop. Okay, so that's Greenlight Guru. I get neither access to the software nor to the pricing. <laughs> I have to schedule a sales call and, and probably based on that sales call when they walk me through the software, I will have to decide on the software, which is crazy, right? Because like, You want to try this sort of software before you, before you buy it, but you don't get the opportunity to do that. And you probably commit for multiple years and it's probably super expensive. So we're looking at, I don't know, it's probably a five figure sum per year, which is crazy, right? Anyway, maybe the competitors are doing it better. Let's go to Qualio. Qualio is also kind of well known. It uh, was a startup. <laughs> I think one thing is super funny. Trusted quality software to help growing life science companies in Ireland? get to market faster. I'm in Germany right now. So the, so the funny thing is before recording this video, I actually refreshed this page with a VPN uh, in Ireland just to see if they're actually using my IP address to try to locate me and then show me this thing. And obviously, yes. So they're always showing you the country you're currently in to kind of like show you, oh, look, we have customers in your country. And this is, uh, this is like on our website and it's totally not customized to your IP address. Um, it is, it is, of course. So. Uh, so if I refresh the page, it'll probably like switch over. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I'm in Germany now. Cool. Yeah. Um, this is um, this is uh, this is probably this doesn't feel shady at all. Okay. Um, I can request a demo immediately. I have to enter my data. I, I don't want the damn demo. I want to try out the software. <clears throat> so um, yeah, a lot of blah 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 blah. No, I don't. I don't want to talk. Who's Meg? I don't want to talk to Meg. The results are in. This, <laughs> this is super hilarious. 92% of customers consider Qualio a trusted partner. Like, and what about those 8% who kind of like said, dude, we don't trust you. <laughs> so this, this is actually a terrible number, um, I, I think. Uh, okay. So, um, okay, request, request a demo. They also want to do this demo via phone. I don't know how that's going to work. I really don't want that. Um, how about pricing? So we have different plans, foundation growth, scale. And this, this, is, this is super funny. You get edit users and basic users. So basic users probably is just like a crappy user account with which you can't edit stuff because to edit stuff, you need the edit user. 
and you don't have many added users. You only get five here, and whereas you get 10 basic users. I don't know how useful these basic users are, but at the very least, it seems like you can't edit anything with them because you need the added users for that. Okay, so um, this is already kind of crappy because imagine like imagine your company has like 10 people, but you only have like five added users, so only five people can actually work with the software a lot. Um, not sure if that works. Yeah, and none of these tiers actually have any price, so, so, so none of this makes sense. Like, why, why put different tiers here if you don't put the price there anyway? Okay, request pricing, this really doesn't work. And then scroll down. Okay, this is super funny. Wait, I thought Greenlight Guru had all of these awards. Why does Qualio also have all of these awards? They, they're, they're the same, right? Like, I, I, I don't remember what Greenlight Guru had, but it looked really similar. Like, like how, like, I feel like everyone who just, I don't know, probably pays this agency some money gets an award. So yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, we neither get access to the software nor to pricing with Qualio 2. Let's move on to matrix requirements. It's a German company. It's uh, sometimes quite popular among companies. Oh yeah, I already opened the pricing page here. So open the pricing page and oh my God, we actually get numbers. But check out these numbers. <laughs> like it's, look at this. Like it goes like from 390 euros to 880 euros for only three users. Now, now the funny thing is like you could kind of like take the Qualio like idea here and say like, Okay, but are these edit users or are these basic users? I, I would probably guess these are edit users because you just have so few. You have three users and you almost pay 1k euro per year, which is completely crazy. So, so <laughs> and, and if you want, no, the, the, the crazy thing is if you want more than three users, you probably have to go from 880 euros per month to over 2,000 euros a month to get up to 20 users. And even 20 users doesn't really feel like um, a lot in my opinion. So yeah, so that's the situation. You do get a free trial here, I think. Oh, you actually don't get a free trial. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. You do get a free trial. You do get a free trial because you can enter a password here. So you probably end up getting access to the software, which is, okay, that's better. But you still have to provide the phone number. Like why the hell do I need the phone number to set up my, my account? Like do they like call you and explain the software to you? That's, Oh man, maybe it's a bit better, but it's still super, super shady. So yeah, so we've looked at three softwares and they also, wait, did they copy this landing page? Like this looks like the Qualio landing page. Let's look at the Qualio landing page. Um, it's like this email request a demo, email request a demo. <laughs> so do they copy each other here? Looks like the same landing. Anyway, okay, so um, yeah. So long story short, the QMS software industry is extremely shady. And show you, I should probably be going back to Hacker News here to have a better time. Um, and, but that being said, I'm super biased because I run a company in this space myself. And if you, uh, if you, if you like, if you're interested, like this is actually how our how our website looks. So you go to the website where Open Regulatory publish a lot of stuff for free, and you actually see like, oh cool, the price is literally on the front page on the landing page is seven ninety nine per month. We give us startup discount of 499 euros per month and you can already create your account here what's hap what happens if i click here start for free yeah i already get logged in so if, if you're not logged in you actually let me, let me actually log out here if i if you're not logged in you just sign up and look no phone number no phone number <laughs> don't have, we don't want to call you we just want to give you the damn software so no phone number here you just really enter the bare minimum you need company name, your name, email, password, and then just like this one text field so we can learn a bit like why the hell you're signing up for our software. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you have a walkthrough video. It's really, it's a really simple landing page. A lot of companies are using us very successfully. We even have a cheaper version. Probably is the cheaper version actually cheaper than the cheapest version of Matrix? I, I do think so. Wait, where was the Matrix pricing? Yeah, we're well, literally our cheapest version is cheaper than the Matrix version, and our most expensive version is still probably like in the middle between the others. And probably the pricing of our other competitors is probably similar or even more expensive. So yeah, you can just like register and purchase. You can cancel every month. It's extremely simple. It's kind of like the way SaaS software like was meant to be. You kind of like sign up and try it out. And if you don't like it, you just cancel and move on. And it's not like doing shady sales calls and leaving your phone number everywhere. 
Um, if you're interested into that or anything else, let me know. And by the way, the most crazy thing is you probably actually don't need KMS software in the beginning when you're startup. You could literally just do something in Google Drive. I'll also link an article below in the description how you can just kind of like skip everything you looked at in this video and just use Google Drive instead. Um, but yeah, so I guess the summary is like, don't fall for shady companies. Um, if you want to buy a software, try it out beforehand and choose a software which has transparent pricing.